This is how you bring system definitions and routing preferences into a current drawing. The same process applies whether you're using duct or pipe. So I start off by going to the style manager. When I select this tool, you can see that in this case I got HVAC system definitions. Well, if I'm in my current drawing, which is based on metric, you can see that there's nothing in here. This was started on the template or started using the MEP template in here for metric. So if I go ahead and I pick open drawing, if you look in the content shortcut, you'll see a folder called styles. Once you get into styles, you'll see that there are different disciplines. There's global, imperial, and metric settings. So let's say, for example, I want to do something in metric. I'll double click metric, and then I have all these style based drawings that are the masters for all the content you have. Now, again, this is going to be the same from AutoCAD MEP 2014 all the way through 2019, with a couple of minor variations. I'm going to start by doing my systems first. So I look at the system definitions, and I can grab either one of these files, and I click open. And now I can see which ones I have available under this particular category. So I got a bunch of different ones that I can pick from. So the simplest way to do this is to grab the ones that you want and you can use your control key to pick a handful of them um, or you can pick them one at a time. So the way you do multiple selections is to pick duct system definitions here and then you go ahead and hold control here to pick the types that you want. So now I can get multiple types I can do return and supply. So let me go ahead and grab that. Once I have those done, I can either right click and copy or right click and paste. So either way works. If I want to do all of them, I just simply select everything from this particular drawing using the shift key. So I can right click and say copy. Then I come to my current drawing that I have here, right click and say paste. And all the types that I have selected will now be in here. Now, once I have them in here, I can double check a system like supply and I can look to see if there's any routing preferences set up. In this case, there's not. They're just standard. So what do I need to do to get the routing preferences in here? It's the exact same step. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and look, go ahead and click um, OK to get out of the style manager. I'm going to come back to style manager and I'm going to tell it to do routing preferences. Now that I have this done, what I can do is I can see that I got nothing assigned with standard in here. There's nothing at all that I can use in here. I could technically look into system definitions drawing and I can see the ones that are in here and you can see that in some cases like slip joint they already have some defined. So I can either grab routing preferences from this drawing or I can go find a specific routing preferences drawing in this case in the MEP 2018 folder here. So to do the same thing I can simply left click on this and drag and drop it up to my current drawing and place it that way. So the drag and drop is pretty easy and you can grab whichever ones you want and just drag them right into that drawing. Now once I have that assigned, I click OK. And to see both of them at the same time, I can just click on the Style Manager. Now I can look underneath my current drawing at HVAC objects and you see that Routing Preferences is here and System Definitions is here. So what I want to do is go to System Definitions and pick Supply. And then for my Routing Preference, I'm going to pick the Generic Slip Joint. Now by doing this, it's going to set the fittings as they're defined in the part routing preferences. So I can go in here and look at slip joint and this is telling me which one I'm using. Now the library that you're seeing right here, mine is currently based on Imperial, but you can use different libraries in this case. So it all depends on where you're importing them from and which one you're going to use. If you go back and look at the um, settings in here, and let's take a look at options. I'm going to type in options on the command line. And what that's going to do is open up a dialog. My catalogs that stock these things are going to be underneath MEP catalogs. So whenever I'm looking at duct parts or preferences, I want to look at what content I'm using in here. So this can be flipped back and forth between metric and imperial. When you install AutoCAD MEP, you're going to tell it what units you want to have installed. And depending on what profile you have set, in this case I have US Imperial, then you're going to get Imperial settings. If I switch this to US metric and I set that to be current or any kind of metric system in this case, what this is going to do is it's going to update that path. So if I go back over here to my MEP catalogs now and I look at duck, notice how now it's kicked over to metric and I, it does all this for me at once. So make sure you're paying attention to these profiles and these are set up when you install AutoCAD MEP. So that's a real quick version of how you get content 
um, into a current drawing or any drawing that you're using by using a copy and paste and by using drag and drop, but also making sure that you're pointed to the correct libraries. Let me know if this helps.